Hello, and welcome to Just Hoops. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Clint Capella and break down one of his main skills, rebounding. Clint Capella is a dominant force at both ends of the floor, but he's especially dominant on the glass. He averaged 14 rebounds a game last year, and we're going to really take a look at things that he does at a high level that allow him to dominate on the backboard. First, let's talk about how he boxes out and gets position down low. So, as a rebounder, it's paramount to block out. In this first clip, see how he sticks the opposing player in the chest, turns, finds the rim, and then pursues the ball. That contact to initiate right when the shot goes up is essential. Look at this, how he never keeps his eye off the ball, but he gets low and prevents the offensive player from being in position to get the offensive rebound. In this next clip, look at how Capella stays low, he's athletic, he's preventing Alex Len from making a play on the ball. Look at this freeze frame. He's low, he has position, he has leverage on the opposing player. Doing this and blocking out, making contact with opposing players on the glass allows you to be effective and efficient when shots go up to have position and make plays on the ball. Now, let's talk about once he brings in a rebound and how he chins it and keeps it away. Chinning the ball is just one of those fundamental things that everyone's taught from a young age. Look at how he does it here. He brings it in, keeps it tight to his body, doesn't let anybody touch it. He rises up, he gets the ball, brings it down, keeps it near him and away from the opposing players to outlet and get out on the break. When rebounding, chinning it and keeping it tight to your body away from the opposing players is essential in preventing turnovers and dumb mistakes and allow you to take your time to find the outlet and get out on the break or get into your secondary offense. Chinning it is just one of those things that is so fundamental to the game to allow you as a rebounder to maintain possession and control and to make a play to allow your team to get down the floor and have an opportunity to score. Now, let's take a look at how he pursues the ball when rebounding. Capella does a great job at getting the ball at its peak. Look right here, full extension toward the rim, jumping up, getting the ball at its peak. Doing this allows you to be the first one to get it. Um, it's simple as that, putting the effort and energy in to rise up, get the ball at its highest point, grab it with two hands, Look at this clip, he runs in from a weak side, help side perspective, jumps in and gets the rebound over his own teammate. When in pursuit of the ball, Capella consistently rises up, finds the ball at its peak, grabs it with two hands, and brings it in and chins it. Doing these things consistently can make you a high level rebounder at any level. So to conclude the video, we just want to summarize the points that we brought up. First and foremost, you need to block out when shots go up. Making contact allows you to have an advantage to get more rebounds. Second of all, bring it in tight and chin it. Prevent turnovers and make good decisions. And lastly, pursuing the ball with high energy and effort, grabbing it with two hands at the peak. At the end of the day though, to be an elite rebounder, it just takes the energy and effort to put on the backboard. Doing these little things, making contact, bringing it in tight, chinning it, preventing anybody from touching it, while also pursuing the ball like it, you own it and you don't want anyone else to touch it, you have to take ownership in your ability to rebound, which in turn will bring a winning impact to your team and help you improve dramatically. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, learned something about what it takes to be an elite rebounder from one of the best in the league. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. See you guys soon.